Hi everyone. Uh, today's tab is uh, 34. Okay. Uh, combined rate of work. So when you have a question something like this one, okay, when two people's working at different rate, okay, so if they work together, okay, how many hours will it take or how many days, something like that, okay. The first we have to figure out a difference between rate and time. Okay, for example, if John, if John takes five days to paint his house. Okay? This is time, isn't it? Five days. So what's the rate? How can you find the rate? Rate is what? Uh, okay, this is uh, painting house is your job, right? That you want, okay? This is total is one. It takes five days. One day, two day, three day, four day, five days. Okay? The work rate, I'm right. Work rate means what fraction of a job, okay? What fractions of a job, okay? What fraction of a job? Job is what painting his house, okay? What fraction of a job can be done? per day, right? That is work rate. But in this case, one piece of job can be done, right? Per day, isn't it? So this number, one piece is work rate, okay? One piece is work rate. So maybe you can see difference. Work rate always a reciprocal of time taken, right? Okay, can I write down again? Work rate, work rate. Always reciprocal. Time taken. Okay, that's it. And also, time taken. Time taken also what? 1 over work rate. Okay? If if we have a work rate, okay, if, if John have, okay? If John have a work rate one eight. Okay? And this is per day, that's the rate, okay? So, we can see John will take eight days, right? It will reciprocate again, eight days to finish the job, right? Okay, painting house, right? It takes eight days, okay? Yeah, that's it. Now go back to work. All right, now I'm gonna, uh, <clears throat> so to explain this one a little more detail, I'm gonna use some number, all right, okay. So John takes five hours, okay, uh, to painting a house or uh, to finish some job, okay. John takes, I'm gonna write down a bit, time over here. Time. It takes five hours, okay. And Curtis, if he work alone, it takes, okay, 10 hours, okay, to finish the painting, all right? Now, rate is what? Reciprocal, okay? And one day, what fraction of the job can be done, isn't it? It takes five days. One day, you can finish what? One over five, right? So that is the rate. One over 5 is rate, Chris is what? 1 over 10 is rate. Right? Okay. Not if they work together, right? They work together, we need combine these two rate. 
that is, is called a combined work rate. So I'm gonna write that. One over pips plus one over ten. One pips plus one over ten equals what is that? Three over ten, isn't it? Uh, that means what? Three over ten. Okay, three tenths of a job can be done in one day, right? A day. So how many takes, how many days will it take? How many days will it take? We take a reciprocal again, right? So what is that? 10 over 3 days. If they work together, it will take 10 over 3 days. That's it, okay? So uh, you have to figure out how can you get the right the rate. And from the rate, how can you get the right the number right? days or time okay that is very important okay now we're gonna have some practice okay okay try number one. okay try number one uh work a can finish job in five hours the time is five hours okay the next one work a and work b together right when they work together they it takes what four hours okay that's combined rate a combined time right okay the question is uh, how long does it take for workers be alone okay for workers be to finish the job if he works alone okay take a look work a it takes five hours So the rate will be what? One pips, isn't it? Every hour he can finish the job, one pips of the job, right? Oh, uh, the next one. B is, we don't know, right? X hours alone. It's going to be take what? One over X hours. Okay, this is, uh, this is just rate, okay? Just rate. Uh, the next one, if they work together, uh, A and B, right, it takes four hours, isn't it? So why did you combine uh, the rate, one pips, right? This one is a combined rate. So when you compare these two, these two combined rates should be called one pulse, isn't it? So one pips plus one over x equals one pulse that's it okay so from here one over x equals one pulse minus one pips one over 20 right okay so one over x equals one over 20 x is what 20 hours okay x is just 20 hours so when work be this guy's work alone it'll take 20 hours Okay, that's it. Okay, now try number two. Raymond and Peter can faint a, a house uh, in 20 hours. This is combined, right? Hours. Okay, so Raymond plus Peter takes 20 hours. This is combined. So combined rate is what? 1 over 20, isn't it? That is combined rate. So when working together at the same time, okay, 20 hours is okay. So, and Raymond works twice as fast as Peter, right? This is Raymond, this is Peter. Raymond works twice as fast. If Peter takes what? 2x hours, Raymond is passed twice each way. It takes only what? Half hours, okay? Half of these hours. So you can let this way. Or x and 1 over 2x. It doesn't matter, okay? So I'm going to use what? 2x and x. That is easier, okay? 2 times passed is what? Time is what? Half. Is it okay? All right. So what is rate? Raymond, 1 over x is the rate. It's a reciprocal. Peter, 
1 over 2x is the rate, okay? When you add this to, that is combined rate, isn't it? So, 1 over x plus 1 over 2x, that is equal to this combined rate, 1 over 20. That's right? Okay. So, 1 over x is what? 2 over 2x, okay? Plus 1. That is equal to 1 over 20. Okay, so uh, 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2x. That is 1 over 20. You can use cross multiplication, okay? So 2x equals 60 and x equals 30, right? So Raymond will take 30 hours. Peter will take 60 hours, okay? So over here, Peter to paint the house, how long will it take it, right? So we need to find the Peter, right? It takes, what, 60 hours, okay? Just find what rate and compare uh, their combined rate. All right, number three. Swimming pool can be filled by pipe A five hours. Okay, five hours. That's time, isn't it? Pipe B is what? Eight hours. How long would it take it to fill the pool if both pipes were used? This is pipe A. This is pipe B. It takes what? Five hours and eight hours. Isn't it? That's the time. From the time, find the rate. Okay, so one over time taken, isn't it? So rate, uh, that's right. Rate is uh, one pips. The other rate is one over eight. Okay, because they are, they are both two pipes were open, we're gonna add these two, okay? So combined rate, combined rate is 1 over 5 plus 1 over 8. That is equal to what is that? 13 over 40, right? So from the rate, we need to find the time. That's another reciprocal, right? So a time will be taken. Time taken will be 40 over 13, right? Actually, this is what? 1 divided by 13 over 40, isn't it? Okay, 40 over 13, that is the reciprocal, okay? It is what? 3 and 1 13th hour, okay? Right, that's it. Okay, the next one, last question is number 4. Number 4 is a little hard, okay? So we have two different variables. Take a look. It takes 5 people, I'm gonna organize, okay? It takes 5 people. Takes 12 hours to paint three identical house. This is a three job, right? Oh, the next one. Okay, four people, if they work, four people, four people is working. It takes how many hours? Right, we're gonna find this hours. But this is a different job, okay, five, Identical job, okay? Actually, five job, okay? Five job. Okay. Okay, first I'm gonna find, okay, the hours when they finish what, one job, okay? Not three job. Okay, I'm gonna change a little differently, okay? If five people Finish one job. Three job takes what twelve hours. One job takes is what twelve divided by three is what four hours, isn't it? It takes four hours. Okay, now you gotta find out when you have four people, okay? How many hours for the same one job first? Okay. So the number of people and number of hours. The number of people, number of hours. 
that is inverse variation okay if you have more people the time is less isn't it so five times four equals four times this, this is x okay four x always well, their product is already constant okay so from here 20 divided by 4 is what? x is 5 hours, isn't it? So, if 4 people working, it will take 5 hours. It's okay. That is inverse variation, okay? After that, we considered what? 5 jobs. 1 job take what? 5 hours. 5 job take how many hours? 5 times, isn't it? So, it will be 25 hours. Okay? So, step by step, you can okay, find the answer. Okay? So, it will be 25 hours. Uh, this one, uh, we have uh, right, uh, two different variables, right? The number of people and the job. Okay? So, uh, anyway, just try to figure out okay how we solve right this type of questions okay i think that's all today okay all right thank you so much i'll see you next time okay bye bye